you go to hell because you start to believe the father of your lives. <laughs> Liars Los mentirosos believe creen their own lies. Satan Satanás sent a message. Mandó un mensaje. You know what he sent to Paul? ¿Sabe qué mandó a Pablo? I want you to look in 2 Corinthians. Que mire, Corintios. 2 Corinthians chapter 10. And I'm just going to go over a little things here. Today. In verse 3, the word of God says, For though we walk in the flesh, though we have flesh, though we are human, Paul said it this way, though the outward man perishes, the inward man is renewed day by day. Though we walk in the flesh, what's he say? We don't war according to the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. But they're mighty. They're powerful. They pull down strongholds. You know what they're doing? They're, they're pulling down the message that the messenger sent. El diablo dice que tiene cáncer. Es un mensaje. El diablo dice que es pobre. Es un mensaje. El diablo dice que está débil. Es un mensaje. El diablo dice que va a caer. Es un mensaje. ¿Cuántas uh, están conmigo? El diablo viene con mentira. Es solo lo que él puede hacer. Él solo sabe cómo mentir. Porque la verdad no está dentro de él. Él viene mentiendo. Lying, you're sick. You're going to die. You know what happens? You start you start thinking. Verdad? It's true. Yo siento mal. I feel bad. I feel cosa. Help my God. Y sabe lo que pasa? Comienza construyendo dentro de ti una fortaleza en su cabeza. A través de solamente un mensaje. Aunque caminamos en la carne. No guerreamos contra la Nuestras armas son poderosas. ¿Cómo, cómo, cómo, cómo? Aleluya. To the pulling down. Que haga fortalezas. Derribando los espacios. ¿Cuántos están conmigo? El diablo dice que no puede ser sano. El doctor dice que no puede ser sano. El doctor dice que es incurable. 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 Pero dice la palabra. Jesús llevó nuestras enfermedades y todos nuestros dolores y todas las cargas de Jesús. El diablo está derrotado. Está bajo nuestros pies. Él es débil. Él es weak. 
Jesus Christ. Y la palabra dice the way it says, that we tear down these strongholds and bring to the obedience of Christ. Put us up in the obedience of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Let me be a little foolish. I'm going to be a little foolish. I'm going to boast a little bit. Voy a glorificarme. Está conmigo. And he begins to say. I'm Paul. Yo soy Pablo. I'm special. Yo soy especial. I'm an apostle. Just an apostle. In the church, you don't have a title. You don't have nothing. Alaba. And it's mentira. This. Sabe que estamos dando los títulos a las personas que no tienen la unción para llevar este título. Yo soy Pablo. I'm Paul. Yo soy muy importante. I'm very important. Soy apóstol. I'm a pastor. Yo, mi hebreo de los hebreos. I'm the Hebrew of Hebrews. Y él comenzó a dar tan poco. He started in pride for a little bit. Y después eso. After that. Él comenzó a decir. He started saying. He sufrido mucho. I have suffered a lot. Yes. Me dejaron en el mar. They left me for dead in the sea. Me asustaron. They whipped me. Me dejaron muerto. They left me for dead. <laughs> Soy apóstol de los apóstoles. I'm the apostle of apostles. Y nadie sabe. And nobody knows. Dame conmigo. Mis amigos no, a mí no, a la costa, no, they don't like me. My friends don't, mis amigos no, 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 Everybody thinks I'm not as good as I am. And then he says this in chapter 12. Because in chapter 11, he spends the whole chapter talking about how important he is. And so, in chapter 12, He says, but God gave me revelation. He gave me abilities. He gave me talents. He gave me vision. Higher than anybody ever before. I'm a special man. And because of all this, a message was sent by Satan. El aguijón. El aguijón es la palabra de los judíos. And the messenger is Satan. The message was that he needed to believe that he was the man. And then we see he starts crying out to God. And he says, Lord, who's going to deliver me from this? And he says it three times. 
He says, who's going to deliver me from this message? I may feel like sometimes. Every day. We're saying, Lord, tell the devil to shut up. I don't want to hear from him anymore. That's it. Some of us call our husbands the devil. <laughs> Some of us call our wives the devil. <laughs> but it's just messages <laughs> that the enemy uses <laughs> to make us stumble. <laughs> and Paul says, <laughs> Lord, Dios, who can deliver me <laughs> from this? From what? Tribulation. Tribulation. Destruction. The destruction. Pain. The dolor. Pride. The orgullo. Sadness. Tristeza. Defeat. Derrota. Who can deliver me from all this? And God says, sí, said, Dios. Paul, Pablo, my grace mi gracia is sufficient. Amen. Amen. Amen, Jesus. Amen. And you know what Paul said? Paul said, I know that, Lord. I'm the one that wrote the book on the grace. And so he says it again. Because he asked three times. Who's going to deliver me from this? Who's going to get this thorn out of my life? Paul, Pablo, the grace is sufficient. He didn't say, Paul, Pablo, you don't pray enough. He didn't say, Paul, Pablo, you don't read your Bible enough. He didn't say, Paul, you're a sinner. Saved by grace. He didn't say, Paul, Pablo, you just are not spiritual. No, he said, my grace is sufficient. Third time, God, Dios, Who's going to deliver me from this situation? And God didn't change his mind. Because he can. He doesn't lie. So he can't change his mind. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. So he says, Paul, my grace is sufficient. And when he said that, Paul said, I did. When I'm weak, then you are strong. When I get out of the way, you get in the way. When I stop in my own ability to try to receive, your grace is sufficient. When I can't do anything else, your grace is sufficient. So Paul says, Devil, Satanás, come at me. Try whatever you have. Bring the biggest thing you've got. Because when I'm weak, then am I made perfect in your grace. It's the word of his grace. It's why he said, the Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Why? Because he was the Word. The grace of God is a comforter. That came down and filled you to give you knowledge of his word so that that power that raised Jesus from the dead can quicken your flesh because we overcome by the blood of Jesus. 
the great secret is the answer for the church today. You'll stop fighting in the natural. And you'll start resting in the spirit. Everybody raise your hands and just worship the Lord. Just worship the Lord. I want this, this young lady right here that has her hands raised. Come up here. Come up here, God. Come up here, God. The anointing that is upon your pastor is on you. It's an evangelistic anointing. It's to get people saved. You get people saved. You tell people about Jesus when no one wants to hear. You tell them about Jesus. I see that anointing. The Lord said, with the evangelist's anointing comes the healing power. And God is about to anoint you with a fresh anointing of the healing anointing you'll see blind eyes will open there's the anointing of God 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 That's the power of God. Es el poder de Dios. Está descendiendo sobre ti ahora. It's falling upon you right now. Está subiendo sobre ti, transportando sobre ti la gloria de Dios. Shekala la posoto de más en breve en el árbol que estime el barco brasi de la aire sin bona. There's somebody in your life that is infirm, that's sick. There's somebody that's sick. And I don't know what it is. But God says He wants to use you to bring healing. To bring healing. The anointing that's upon the two of them rests upon her. It's not only just the evangelistic anointing, but it's the prophetic anointing. God has a plan for you, and you will fulfill it. There's the power of God. Receive it now. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it now. In the name of Jesus. I mean, no, Jesus blew upon his disciples. He blew upon his disciples. Now, you don't do it as a game. You don't do it as as a device. You do it when God tells you to do it. It's very important we learn As a minister, you never manipulate the Holy Spirit. You grow a leg when God tells you to do it. You don't do it to hype a crowd. Raise your hands. I'm going to do what I saw myself doing.
yo paré de soplar pero el Espíritu Santo está soplando Vamos a ver Cristo en esa paz. Come up here, sweetheart. Come up here. I love your pastors. They're special. Lay your hands on her. A son of spirit. The same anointing. You compare yourself too much. The Lord says, I want to use you in the same manner. There it is right there. There it is right there. Watch me both. Cuidado con los dos. Con las dos, porque la unción va a caer sobre las dos ahora. La gloria de Dios está cayendo. Pastor, en el abrazo de la iglesia, la baja de la iglesia. Stand up your legs. Raise your hands up there. There's a psalmist anointing upon you. It was absolutely. We saw it today. But it's not just a psalmist anointing. That's why God has you here. Because it's a prophetic anointing. And the Lord says you've been asking Him to flow in the gifts of the Spirit and flow in the Word of Knowledge and flow in discerning of spirits. That's what I see in the Spirit. God's releasing the moving of the Spirit into your psalmist anointing. People will not be able to stand in the presence as you see because the glory will fill the house. will not be able to stand to preach the word of God. The Lord says, don't worry about what others say. Don't worry about what other ministers say. I've anointed you. I've called you. And I've placed you far above those powers. And I'm releasing favor, favor over your life and over your ministry. Doors of opportunity are opening from this night forward. The Lord says, you would not bow to Baal. You would not honor a man. You would not honor an authority that was trying to steal your anointing and use your anointing. Because you would not bow, the fire of God is falling upon your sacrifice. Your obedience. And the Lord says, because of this, I'm going to cause the prophets of Baal to fall. Now, Father, in the name of Jesus, I release a special anointing to flow in the gifts of the Spirit from this night forward. There goes right there to you. There goes right there to you. There goes right there to you. In the name of Jesus, religious spirits will fall. I release it now, Father. In the name of Jesus. There it goes right there. Take it. Take it now. 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 Receive it now. Receive it now. 
Receive it now. Receive it now. Receive it now. Receive it now. Receive it now. Receive it now. There it goes, 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 there it goes. There it goes, there it goes, there it goes, there it goes. Ahí está la opción. Recibe en el nombre de Jesús. Ahora. Ahora. Now the That's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. That's it. I have seen people freezing. Gente freezándose. Paralizado. In my meeting. En mi congregación de mí. Ambrose y mi nombre y mi seguro es nombre de sí. The Lord says, I am working in your house. I'm working in your family. And I'm turning it around. I'm turning it around. God says, the rebellion that has come into your children now will fall. And I will call the spirit the joy that you see in your grandchildren <laughs> to come over here. <laughs> Somebody say hallelujah. Somebody, somebody, somebody being healed in their, their, their left arm. Who is that? There's pain in this left arm. Who is that? Who is that? In the brazo izquierdo. Donde está? Eres tú? Levanta sus manos. Raise your hand up. Raise that arm up. Come here, young lady. This woman's an ornament of God. I see the gift of God in her. Stand right here. Put your hand right on that, that arm. It's mainly in this area. Yes, right there. Right there. Now close your eyes and receive your healing. Now. Now. There it goes. There it goes. There it goes. Take it now. Receive in the name of Jesus. How many know that the pain's already gone? Move it, move it. Mueva, mueva, mueva. Ya no más tiene dolor. No. You've been hearing. Uh, a sound in your ears voices I heard something in your ears voices raise your hands up how many know these voices are messages the spirit is this your mother? The same thing happened to her. And that same spirit now is come down on you. And I heard the Lord say, when we break it off of you, it'll be broken off of you. The rich doesn't belong to you. That spirit, it's the spirit we're going to break tonight. Yes. The anointing is strong. The Bible tells us a curse when it's found out it no longer has a cause it doesn't have the ability to stay. And I found it out tonight. Because the Holy Spirit revealed it to me. And the same voices that speak to her are speaking to you. But they're stronger. They're stronger. Because it gets stronger as every generation goes back. 
These voices, estas voces, are telling you se te dicen to give up que te de pobrecida and to kill yourself. Y que te mates. We're going to break the power of that. Off the darkness. Father, first of all, I pray over the mother. And I take authority over the curse that's over her body. In the name of Jesus, we say, Shut up! In Jesus' name. Look at me. Say Jesus. Jesus. Say Jesus. 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 Es. Es. Señor. Jesus es Señor. Jesus es Señor. Es. Señor. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Father, this curse is broken. Now, in Jesus. Thank you, Father. Now, raise your hands. Raise your hands. This is a spirit. It's a demon. That's lying to her. One already left. But we're going to take authority over the one that is holding the curse. Todo mundo extiende sus manos. You can sit down, sweetheart. In the name of Jesus. I speak to these spirits that have come through Santeria and I break the power off of her life. The curse is broken tonight in the name of Jesus. Stop lying to her. Stop speaking to her. I break your power and your authority. And I say, come out of her now. Now. Raise your hands and give God glory. Raise your hands and give God glory. Raise your hands and give God glory. The power of God is saturated in your body. That devil is gone. It don't belong here. And it don't belong to you. You're free. He who the Son set free is free indeed. Comienza a danzar. Comienza a brincar. Comienza a dar gloria a Dios. I want you to do something with me now. What, what's your name? Griselda. Griselda. Yo quiero que tú hagas conmigo. I want you to pray with me. I want you to get filled with the Holy Ghost. Speak in tongues. Tonight. And then the devil can't talk to you. How many believe that? Say this with me. Señor, Señor, bautízame en el poder del Espíritu Santo. Fuego de Dios. Fuego de Dios. Quema. 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 Yo recibo. Yo recibo. 
la llenadura del Espíritu Santo y voy a hablar en lenguas y voy a hablar en lenguas en lenguas en lenguas de fuego de fuego y de poder y de poder yo recibo yo recibo ahora ahora en el nombre de Jesús en el nombre de Jesús lléname 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 y ahora comienza a hablar en lenguas si corta la barra Father, I release the Pope, the power that raised Jesus from the dead. And I speak healing complete in every joint of this body in the name of Jesus. Every joint be lubricated and healed in Jesus' name. Somebody here has been having stomach issues. Stomach issues. Who's that? Me. Wanda. You also come up here. If you have stomach issues, come here. Come here, come here. Ven aquí, pastor. Raise your hands up. Come up here, come up here. All the... ¿Qué cosa? Sabe que mi esposa tiene una revelación sobre la maldición que vino sobre las mujeres. Y es maravilloso porque, ¿cuántos saben? Cuando Jesús regresó, o cuando Él regresó de la muerte, la primera vez que él encontró una persona era mujer ¿sabe por qué? porque la maldición que vino en Génesis atacó a la mujer y las mujeres son los que tienen más enfermedad que el hombre God's touching you. Raise your hands up. Raise your hands up right now. You're also being touched. You have a lump in your in your breast there. Who who has that? Somebody up here has that. Who has a kist? Where where? Come up here. You also have stomach issues. I knew that. Rich, I knew it was one of the persons that started this How big is it? The big one is a cancer. But it's just a message. For a message. It's just a message. And every weapon that's formed against us can't prosper it's just a message it's just a lie it's not the truth <laughs> reach your hands out here we're going to take authority over cancer how many know cancer is a name how many know Jesus is a name encima de todos los nombres el nombre de Jesús es más alto encima de cáncer I speak to the spirit of cancer 
and to the stomach. Y en el, el estómago. And I say in the name of Jesus. Y yo digo en el nombre de Jesús. Every cada trace cada marca of cancer cada de cáncer leaves se va now ahora in the name of Jesus. En el nombre de Jesús. Spirit of cancer. Espíritu de cáncer. Spirit of death. Espíritu de muerte. We say leave her. Te digo vete en el nombre Go de Jesús. Go now. Vete ahora en el in the name of Jesus. En el nombre de Jesús. Receive. Recibe. Deja a ella caer, deja a ella descansar, porque el poder de Dios está moviendo sobre las aguas en este momento. Levanta sus manos aquí bien. Como usted una persona de atrás, cada uno levanta sus manos. Levanta sus manos ustedes. Father, Dios, in the name of Jesus, Jesus, we speak to their stomachs. We speak to every circumstance, every germ, every thing that is contrary to truth. And we say in Jesus' name, every bit of gastritis, That's what all four of them have. También tiene todo lo que tiene gastritis. Every bit of gastritis, gastritis in the name of Jesus, Jesus goes vete now ahora, in Jesus' en el nombre de Jesús. name. Now receive. Receive your God. Receive your God. Receive your God. Receive. Receive, receive, receive in the name of Jesus. En el nombre de Jesús. No. Ahora. In the name of Jesus. En el nombre de Jesús. No. Ahora. Recibe. Ahora. Ahora recibe. En el nombre de Jesús. No. Ahora. Ahí está. Ahí está la visión. Recibe. Bible says you pray for one another that you might be healed. Release that anointing. Release that anointing. Release that anointing. She not only has gastritis, but you have a refluvo. Acid reflux. And this acid reflux is what's causing the pain in your throat. It causes it to come up. Now the Lord told me He'll take care of the gastritis. And when the gastritis is healed, then the reflux will stop. Now here it comes. Raise your hands. Raise your hands. Everybody reach your hands out here. Siempre cuando estoy ministrando el Espíritu Santo, lo mejor es participar, fluir conmigo. No estamos aquí para expectar. Estamos aquí para participar. Reach your hands out here right now. This young lady is being healed. Not but también, sino también de, de, de este reflujo de este reflujo la garganta in the name of Jesus, en el nombre de Jesús I release it now. lo suelto ahora in Jesus en el nombre name, de Jesús I'm gonna do something voy a hacer algo that I saw que yo vi I'm obeying God yo estoy obedeciendo a Dios and when I see something cuando yo veo algo I do it yo lo hago because when you do it porque cuando lo haces you see results tú ves resultados close your eyes cierra sus ojos and receive y recibe in the name of Jesus en el nombre de Jesús I release yo suelto now ahora en el nombre de Jesús yes Jesus that's what I saw eso fue lo que vi now receive Receive, receive, receive. Somebody watch her power of God's glory. Yes, yes, yes. Man, I remember that she had a, she was white, she was pale. 
And now she's got red all over her. The power of God's on you, is it? It don't matter what the doctor said. You received your healing. Did you have pain? Did you have pain now? Did you have pain now? Did you have pain now? No más de lobo, no más de lobo, aleluya. No más de lobo, aleluya. Get paid, get paid, get paid. It's gone, it's gone, it's gone. It's gone. It's gone. Ya se fue de lobo. Ya se fue. And you're here too, glory to God. So I said, glory to God. Diga gloria a Dios. Diga gloria a Dios. There's somebody standing here, I don't know if they're in the need. Somebody's got problems in their knee. That would be me. That's you. I knew it was close to me. Raise your hands up, Pastor. Her too. You also have that. Pain in the knee. The Lord has called you as an intercessor for this church. The Lord says. I see you Yo te veo. as what, what, the, the woman that stayed uh, uh, no, no. in the temple. Anna. I see you as Anna that would stay in the temple until there was a birth of the glory of God. The Lord says, you have prayed, you have interceded for this work. And God says, your faithfulness is going to manifest in the results of the glory of God in this house. And you don't only have one bad knee, you have two. Are you ready? Raise your hands up there. In the name of Jesus, both knees, I speak healing right now, and I say be healed in the name of Jesus. Now! You have pain in your knee? Is that why you need this? Let me have this. Raise your hands up and receive the power of God. I speak to that knee and I say you are healed. You are healed in Jesus' name. I speak complete miracle now in Jesus' name. There it is right there. In the name of Jesus. You have pain in your knee? Pastor, lay your hands on me. Do you have pain in your knee? Lay your hands on her knee. And God's going to heal you. Because you're praying for her. How many believe that? Lay your hands on her. And pray the anointing of God. In her knee right now, it's moving. He says he feels her knee moving.